Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here with a look back at one of the best WWE DVDs um, to have in your collection. Of course, this would be the rise and fall of WCW. I uh, chose to take a look at this one with the upcoming uh, Sting DVD being released on Tuesday. Um, WCW is going to be a hot topic this week here on the uh, YouTubes with the uh, YWC. Um, this, honestly, I think um, WWE sort of released this, um, but by the time this had come out, they had already had the success of the uh, Rise and Fall uh, ECW um, DVD, and I think that really surpassed all of their expectations. And honestly, in my mind, I think that by them putting out their first full, true WCW release, this honestly blew WWE DVD's mind as well, um, and how much people wanted to have footage from WCW. Um, since the rise and fall of WCW, uh, we've seen um, a Goldberg set, a Starcade set, um, lots of, of, of any way you can put out any WCW footage. We've got three volumes of the best of WCW, best of the WCW pay-per-views. Um, I could go on and on about all of the releases that they put out. Um, just featuring strictly WCW stuff, but a really, really nice cover here. Um, you get you get just about every era of WCW. You start right up there at the top with the uh, the legends of Ric Flair and Dusty Rhodes, the people that paved the way um, for WCW. And then you have right down here your groundbreakers. Uh, you've got the NWO with uh, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, and Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Eric Bischoff there with the uh, the black leather jacket in his NWO days. Uh, you've got Sting, and you've got Goldberg, your two sort of um, cornerstones of uh, you know WCW blowing up. Of course, Sting would be one of the biggest uh, rivals of the NWO, and then uh, of course Goldberg would be built up um, to fight them as well. Um, Right there, once we flip in, we've got uh, three discs of action here. You've got an awesome Goldberg intro uh, right there as his entrance is coming down. You've got the two of the four horsemen. Who knows where, uh, you know, uh, Mongo or Benoit or uh, Malenko or any of the guys that they want to put in there with them. Who knows where they're at. Um, you've got Sting. You've got uh, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. Uh, you've got Hollywood Hulk Hogan with the NWO belt. I, I need to look that up today. I have no idea when Steve Mongo McMichael left WCW. Was it a good leave? Was it a bad leave? Was it as his contract ended? All of a sudden, one day, he wasn't in the Horseman anymore. I have no idea. It's something I've never thought about until right now. Uh, here is your, uh, well, I guess here's your discs. Uh, first, disc one, disc two, disc three. Are they even labeled? Oh, they're right there at the very top. Okay. Um, but uh, you did have a cover slip in here so you can flip through the matches of this one um, but uh, you get a long documentary uh, starting with Jim Crockett promotions mid-atlantic lots of things all the way into the death of WCW all the way at the very end some special features there on the end uh, then you go over to disc two and you're just filled up with matches you've got uh, flair versus Magnum TA in 1985 um, looks like you got uh, sting Luger Barry Windham versus Ric Flair Arn and Tully. Um, then you go on to the Great American Bash. You've got Dusty versus Barry Windham. Flair versus Steamboat. The, the Rock and Roll Express against the Midnight Express. The Midnight Express versus the Southern Boys. The Southern Boys is a great tag team that honestly you don't really hear talked about that, that much. You know, they're not the Rock and Roll Express. They're not the Midnight Express, but they were a very good tag team. Um, the Steiner Brothers uh, versus uh, Sting and Lex Luger. Um, you got Sting versus Vader at the Great American Bash of 92. Rude versus Sting. Flair versus Hogan in 94. And honestly, up until the point of this Flair versus Hogan match, everything that's above there, um, Rude versus Sting in 94, all the way to the top, these are going to be some of the best matches that WCW has to offer. I mean, this is pretty much the greatest hits of WCW. You cannot go wrong with this. Flair versus Steamboat, Chi Town Rumble of 1989 is possibly one of the best wrestling matches of all time. No, no fucking around. Um, and then from here, it sort of goes downhill a little bit. Uh, but like Flair versus Giant, uh, Nitro of '96, Mysterio versus Malenko is a great match. Um, Team WCW against Team NWO at War Games '96. I just heard them review that on the Brian and Vinny show. 
Um, I remember uh, you know, they, they say that Dave Meltzer really panned this as a bad War Games match, but Brian and Vinny really stuck up for it, saying that it was a good match. I uh, can't go wrong. Um, you got Sting um, coming down as NWO Sting, and then, of course, the real Sting would come out, run wild, but then turn on Luger, Flair, and Arn uh, by walking out of the match uh, for thinking that he had turned on them. Uh, from there, we go to Six versus Eddie Guerrero. This is a sold-out ladder match uh, from 1997. I honestly think this is one of the worst ladder matches of all time, and I have no idea why um, they, they chose this match to put on there. But, um, you know, maybe they just wanted to show over how over the NWO got by showing that they had their own pay-per-view uh, with sold out in 1997. Uh, Guerrero versus Malenko, uncensored of 97. Jericho versus Juventus Guerrero in 98. The Steiners versus the Out Outsiders in 98. DDP and Carl Malone versus Hogan and Rodman. Goldberg versus Page, Halloween Havoc, 1998. Of course, this would be the show that the uh, the power went out. Or not the power went out, but the uh, the show went off the air. I apologize. And then uh, August of 2000, Booker T versus Lance Storm. So, as you can see, um, Disc 3 loses a lot of steam. Um, but uh, you can pretty much look at Disc 2 as the greatest matches in WCW history. you got a great documentary here. Everybody should own um, this DVD um, already. Um, but if you don't, this is one that honestly you can pick up pretty cheap off of Amazon and uh, add it to your collection and it would be um, a, a great one to have. You see the rise and fall of WCW examines the stories, oh, no, I'm sorry, the storied history of world championship wrestling from its beginnings in a territory system through Ted Turner's acquisition and the savage uh, battles with WWE. For sports entertainment dominance in the 1990s. Lots of great matches on there for you. But there's Flair versus Hogan. Wrestling. Of course you never got to see that match in mainstream uh, WWF back in the day. You had to wait until they finally signed uh, with WCW in order to see it. So there you go. The rise and fall of WCW. Greatest uh, WCW DVD of all time.